Okay, let's try this. Let's try a walk through the hologram of your own mind in the idea that eternal holiness abides in you. So, here we are again, seemingly again, at this one point, the only point that can be reached in space-time, which is the end of space-time. You're losing your reference of before and of later and explore the vast vastness of your own experience without reference in basically in losing fear in losing what you believed sustained you or what I believed was necessary to be alive and here comes the surprise fear is not necessary to survive fear is not necessary to ensure my sustenance and my source because fear is nothing its base is nothing it's just an illusion of mind so yes it's true it's completely true nothing that is not eternal can be real and fear only talks about stuff that is not eternal. Well, there's one thing that it talks about in eternity, and that's death, being death forever. But it talks about eternity as time and eternal nothingness in time. The idea of hell or condemnation. But the eternity we're talking about has nothing to do with time <laughs> because it is now you're shining beyond the screen you're you're shining and the world doesn't see it you're shining and it can be seen in your eyes and your face but who you really are has nothing to do with your face at all it has nothing to do with the body at all because you're communicating without boundaries and the body is so, as we just read the body is just a frame a frame that Christ uses so he can be seen for a moment, so he can be grasped and understood by, by someone who still believes in separation. And therefore, you can elect to recognize it right now, to recognize the Christ in your brother, and recognize that your brother is not the body it was just a reference that you could choose that you could choose to see so that you can come to this decision well it's actually nothing it's actually n nothing that can be located it's nothing that can be seen as uh, as something definite where you believe you are is not a body where you believe you are is the Christ the same is true for your brother. So that's where we find holiness. That's where we recognize that eternal holiness abides in you. And where, where we're communicating instantaneously and have already communicated before you actually made the decision. Because nothing else could be. Not even the before could be because it's instantaneous, doesn't ex extend in time. It extends into eternity, it collapses time, it collapses every belief and fear and every investment in, in separation. So, so yes, it really doesn't matter what these, what these words say because they're simply just pointing to, to a communication that is not limited by words, where symbols are not needed. And you can just step out, you can just step out of an unholy framework <laughs> or let's say unho an unholy uh, reference point and uh, enjoy the vistas that open up from there because you're not limited by what, you're, what your physical eyes see, you're not limited by that at all. You're not limited by whatever you thought you did or whatever you, you think someone did to you. 
it is completely one. It's not a process at all. There are no steps possible or necessary to come to oneness. Like how could something, how could something that is, how could something that is not oneness or part, not even part of oneness, something that is not one with oneness, come by a procedure into oneness? It's absolutely impossible. There are no proceedings to come to oneness. You are it already. So there is an illusion of a procedure, we call it forgiveness, and it just drops it just drops the necessity for forgiveness because it's been done. This never happened. This never happened and this never was. So there is your new age idea. There's my new age idea that collapses because all that new age did, it brought you to the edge where you recognized that none of this was necessary, including A Course of Miracles, because if it is over, it is over now, and there's no need for time anymore. We just, we're just here at a universal idea, at a universal idea, It's upside down. <laughs> and we're just confirming ourselves the inversion of an identity that never existed. So I'm enjoying myself. I, I am enjoying myself because I'm jo I am enjoying you. I'm enjoying you in totality because you're walking with me. This is just a figure. This is just an image in your dream walking around in Berlin with a camera in his hand. It's not even you. It's just an image. It's just a recording from a time long, 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 long ago that is so far long ago that it's so hard to remember that it's over. And yet this memory is here, this memory is here now, where you, where you can remember that it's over. Because this is the only thing that we can remember. We, when we remember now, we're not, we're actually not remembering the space-time, we're not re remembering this reference. We remember that now has nothing to do with form, has nothing to do with traffic lights, has nothing to do with streets cars, people, it has nothing to do with artificial light or with any worldly light whatsoever, no natural light at all. It has to do with the light of your own mind and it shines, it shines. So thank you brother, I really enjoy this. Thank you. Yes, God is. See how you can extend the vision? It's true. Use everything. Use, use perception to snap out of perception. Use perception to find your anchors or your, your value system that you have placed in time and form and then use it as a catalyst to awaken now it's always an awakening now you never awaken later it's always now there's no it's not possible you can't change the physics you can't change the law of these physics it's the physics of your own mind gravity is gravity no matter if you believe in it or not yes thank you for walking with me See, I'm not doing this for someone who, who, who is watching this video. The guy who is watching this video doesn't exist. I'm doing this for my brother, you. I'm doing this for you. Because you are helping me by giving you... By giving you salvation, I recognize that salvation is giving me. And I'm not giving it to a body, I'm giving it to spirit. I'm giving it to my brother. <laughs> wow, I'm, I'm giving it 
and nobody receives this. Bodies can't give anything. Bodies can't think. Bodies can't communicate. What's communicating is mind, and we are always communicating. See? Form has nothing to do with it. It just we just <laughs> used it for one moment as a symbol. We used everything of form to come into a divine realization that you are alive. <laughs> Divinely alive. Wow, Father, help. Help us in this. Help us in this idea. Incredible, huh? So whatever is going on here, it's of very little interest. It's in as much interesting as it obscures your sight and you found another opportunity to awaken again. So this is an eternal walk. This is an eternal demonstration of your oneness, not as bodies, How could bodies unite, huh? How could bodies really come together and establish unity? It's impossible. A divided unity is nothing. It's always opposing something and affirm, confirms duality. So brother, thank you. We're coming to the end of this walk. And we're coming to the beginning of your awakening because your, be, the beginning of your awakening is always now. It's not an evolution, because it's always total. Thank you, brothers, for starting to walk into that direction. Your awakening is my awakening in totality. again thank you I think this is it thank you father thank you Holy Spirit thank you Jesus thank you one mind we learned the lessons and we're learning them there's no limit to our learning God bless you I love you I see you in this moment